Now everything you say is okay. Uh, most definitely not. Right. Yeah, you said it would take ten minutes and it took seven minutes. Well, if I don't estimate high, how would I keep my reputation as a miracle worker? I stole that from a movie. Should have been speaking with a Scottish accent. Ellen says cheese. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my water's cold. <laughs> so we got, oh, mm. oh, there's the cute mascot that keeps the show going. Jack, a critical function on the show, right, Jack? <laughs> 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 yeah. And we'll explain that a little bit later in the show here. So it's Joanne, Kirsten, Susan, whoa, Ellen, Amy, Ellen, oh, Margaret, Kathy, Nancy, Donna. Hey, Donna. All right, Valerie, so. Patty, everyone's here. We're making. I don't even have a page open. Cheeseburger rails. Cheeseburger rolls. <laughs> the kids' favorite recipe. We're making cheeseburger rails. <laughs> Man, it smells good. Cheeseburger rolls, page 182. In this wonderful cookbook called Dining on a Dime. Whoa. And where can you go to get it at? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue.com. Livingonadime.com. I thought you said lovingonadime.com. Um, wow, that could get interesting. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't Dining on that. a Dime cookbook, page 182. Why are you cooking gonna... plastic in the oven? I'm not. Oh, well, and why is there plastic in the oven? Page 75, 90-minute rolls is what we're starting with. It's The oven's not on. Oh. Okay. So we're running late because we had a hard time getting started. A technical malfunction. Okay. So we're going to start by showing you guys how to make our easy, <clears throat> super easy 90-minute rolls. Darren in the house. Darren, hello. <laughs> we were just talking about coming to visit you when we come to Ireland next year. In fact, something came in the mail. Huh? It did. Something came in the mail. We're going to open it up. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it our passports? Just kidding. No. All right. It's so, take, like, a few days. when you go to make homemade bread, sometimes you wonder if your yeast is still good. So, I'm going to show you this is what yeast should look like when it has what? proofed. Sorry, someone lost it. See how poofy and fluffy that is? Here, hold up. Let me zoom in. No, I need it going. Oh, sorry. See how poofy and fluffy that is? Okay. So, I'm getting some really warm water from the sink. <clears throat> so, Darren says we should do dining on a dime t-shirts. <laughs> I thought about it. I just found a place that does imprinting, and I thought about doing some aprons and some shirts, but I don't know if anybody would buy them. I don't know. I guess we could do like a pre-order thing maybe and see if somebody would want to buy it. Okay, so if you want to proof your yeast... Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you just pose? I did. <laughs> so, if you want to proof your yeast... Pour it in your hot water and let it sit for about five minutes. And if it's good, it'll poof up and look like this here, okay? If it's not good, it's just going to stay flat and look like tan water, okay? Now, I know that this yeast is good. So I'm going to go ahead with this um, recipe here. Are you having a problem? Allergy problem. <clears throat> uh -oh. Getting a lot of people saying they would buy t-shirts or aprons. Yeah, but they say that, but then do they really buy them when we print them? Donna says make iron-ons. Well, that's why you only print like 20 of them to see if they well, I know, but like the minimum order is like 50 or 100. Oh, well. That's a lot of t-shirts to be wearing for the rest of our life. <laughs> Seriously. Well, actually, what's funny, Tar didn't mention, <clears throat> but back in the old days before we understood how to actually sell books, we had the first batch and lots of people demanded them and, and we mailed them to them and then nobody else knew about the book. 
So yeah. for years we would use them as like the base for beds. <laughs> No, and I don't need it. Or, or add furniture prop ups and things like that. Yeah, Ellie's Ellie's first big bed was made out of dining on a dime books, cases. Okay, and I got my salt in. Now normally you go ahead and put your yeast in. I already pre-did it in there because I was just showing you guys how to do that, but I'll just do it again just for grins. Okay. I'm not taking pictures yet. I'm looking for an um, So then you stir that in. And uh, then you add your milk. And this is still the 90 minute rolls, right? Yeah. Because this is the first part of the recipe. Yeah. So then you add your milk and your water. Now I have dry milk that I need to use up. So I'm just going to throw that in there. In my water. And stir that around. All right, right in there. And then I don't have, well, I have some margarine, but I didn't feel like messing with it. So I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of regular cooking oil. And get that in there. All right, so now I'm going to mix it up. off with free shipping through Friday through Friday Melissa is asking my eight-year-old wants to know if Jack plays Roblox Jack Jack <laughs> where'd he go Jack come here come, come here. here you have a viewer question you have a big viewer. one of okay. our viewers has an eight-year-old that wants to know if you play Roblox I I actually do you actually do you In fact, it, what you? did you ask me if we can do after the show? Play, play Roblox. Together. <laughs> Together. So that'll be fun. Yes, he loves Roblox, and so does Dave. Well, well I Dave play plays it. it a lot, anyway, so... I play it when I have nothing better to do. <laughs> but yeah. Jack adores it, so yes. <laughs> you love it, don't you? It's your favorite game. Okay, so then I'm going to stir in the rest of my flour. <laughs> Just uh, like so. Penny says she loves that the mascot's father shows affection. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I definitely do. <laughs> Is that Penny Griffith? No. Oh. Penny B. Oh, Penny mm -hmm. B. Mm hmm. Okay, Kathy so says, then. You look thinner and thinner every week. Way to go. Thank you. Okay, so then I'm going to. Um, Put in a little bit more flour, and can they see this, Dave? 
Yeah, hold on. Okay, you want so, me to zoom in? Yeah. So to knead bread in the bowl, which is how I do it to save mess. There you go. You lift up your dough, flip it over, push down. Flip half of it over, push down. Just like so. And then you just add a little bit more flour until it's not we need to knead for just a few minutes because the mixer kind of starts doing some of the kneading for you. And uh, so you don't have to knead it as long, but for regular traditional bread, if you can knead it for like five or even 10 minutes, that's great if you can go that long. But you know, that's what gets the gluten going and that's what makes it all nice and poofy and beautiful. And yeah. I forgot who asked, but somebody asked if you think it's possible to make this low sodium. I guess. Just sodium? Leave out the salt or reduce the salt, I guess, if you want, but the salt does add flavor. Is it just for flavor or is it for turning out? Well, I have no idea about that, actually. I don't know. Okay, so then what you do is you get this all kneaded and see how it's not sticking anymore? See, you can see how it's not sticking? That's how you know you're done. Now, I let it rise in the same container and I spritz the top with just some cooking spray on both okay. sides then i turn on my oven on warm for about 100 degrees and then i slide in my oven okay so let me brush up my hand here um okay so then I've had, <clears throat> had mine sitting in the oven. Actually, I'm not going to put this in the oven because I'm going to have to turn on my oven. Okay. <laughs> well. I think that's supposed to be bigger. You're not supposed to point out the obvious. Oh, I think you were making a small one today, right? <laughs> we're going for a short stack today, dear. Okay. okay. So, my eye is starting to twitch. Uh, <laughs> this actually should have been like even double what it is. Now, what went wrong? I have no idea. But we're just going to go for it anyway. So, <laughs> after you let your bread rise, well, it's a little poofy. Okay. So, the one you just I don't know did what happened. Is, should rise more than this. Well, I thought this one would rise, so. But you checked the yeast know. is okay. I did. Hmm. Okay, so then just spread it out like this. Okay, boys. <laughs> I'm weird. Uh, well, I am. Jack, Jack's weird. No, I'm not weirder. Yes, We're you both are. the same You're weirdness. You're weirder. You're weirder. Okay, so I'm gonna borrow, so I'm borrowing mom's, this is actually mom's rolling pin. <laughs> she let me borrow it. And I you never gave it back. Broke mine. No, I did. She's coming next week. Oh. Um, okay, so then one of our wonderful viewers, I think it was B that sent mom this. Uh, and so then what you do is you just roll out your dough. You were saying something about beef. Oh, she's the lady that I went to meet in Pennsylvania when Ellie and I went on our trip. She was a really nice lady. She took us to her farmer's market. I don't know if you remember. But yeah. Karen yep. says thank you again for that beat Except down. You said something about beef, though. Sorry, yeah. did you know yeah. after? The beat down what? About student loans. <laughs> Actually, I got a really good email about student loans that I want to share with you guys. And I'm trying to decide if I should do, I don't know, we should probably do a video on it, I guess. Maybe we'll do a video on it. So. Oh, hey, Jack. What? So Jesse is asking a question for you. What is Roblox? It's basically a... It's, it's actually, how do you spell it so she knows first? It's R-O, um, R-O-B. L O X. L O X, yeah. <laughs> and then um, it's basically you're this like character, 
and it's like so there are billions of different like games that you can play inside of Roblox that people have made and you're basically like this sort of Lego kind of dude and just can basically yeah you can change how you look and you can play with other people and you can you know yeah yeah Scarily. So it's yeah, it's 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 like a Lego game. It's like a game where there are on the computer. Mini miniature games inside of it. You know? Yeah, where they do little mini games inside of it, and the kids and I it's think free. they really love it. Yeah, it's a free online thing. Yeah. Okay, so then you put your hamburger on, and you put your seasoned salt. I'm out of seasoned salt, so I'm putting a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onion. Yeah, there's some of that right there. And a little bit of salt. Do we have to nuke it? Probably. Okay, and then can they see what's going on? Yeah, now they can. Jack is just talking, so I'll the camera up. And then um just fold over the edges <clears throat> like so. I'm not gonna cut off. The oh wait, I forgot out. the cheese. How is this supposed to be cheeseburger if you forget the cheese? Here, Dave, get the camera. Get the camera. Okay, do that camera and then do that camera. Oh, Tether was So wondering. while we're doing the show, Dave's taking do this camera. Dave's taking uh, pictures of me while we're Hold doing up. this. I'm getting so many actions thrown at me right now. Okay. It's kind of hard. Do you need me to do something? Hold on. No, okay. I do not. Just a second. Yes. Okay, you ready? Okay, here's the thumbnail. Okay. For today's show. Okay, one more. There are those good thumbnails. So it looks like okay. majestic. <laughs> okay, so I've got my cheese. <laughs> so you go ahead and tilt the camera back down again, well, Dave. I'm sorry. All right. Hold up, get rid of Poor this Dave's camera. got 300 instructions going. Okay, now I have a request for less cheese for half the family, and I have a request for more cheese for the other half of the family. So. I'm fine with just a regular amount. I'm, there you go. I want less cheese. Man, that smells so good. I want less cheese. No, that, that cheese is fine if it's more on. The more's on that side. Cheese. Okay. Well, so there's that side. side. Here's the yeah. side. There's a fly on the camera. Okay. So now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was watching it and I was like, "What's the uh, black spot?" This is my circus and these are my monkeys. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. <laughs> monkeys, right? Okay. So then you pinch your sides together. Sorry, like guys. So. I was like a few minutes behind on Facebook to tell Dave to tilt down. And then. You take your pan and you lift it up and you, whoops, my seam no. came in. Put it in a curve. And then turn your seam down. <sighs> and then you let this rise. And then you give Jack some hamburger. For a few minutes until it about doubles again. So we're gonna let this rise. Mom, you're forgetting the most important step. What? To give Jack some hamburger. Give Jack some hamburger? <laughs> I thought it was going to be give Jack some kisses. <laughs> what? No kisses. That, they hit nine and they don't want kisses anymore. No, I do. <laughs> I know how it is. Okay, so my oven is pre-warmed a little bit. <laughs> Jennifer says I would evict the less cheese ones. <laughs> yes. I told her that all the cheese that Dave doesn't want, she can put on mine. Mm. <laughs> that looks okay. delicious. It's going to be. Yeah, it's Is actually it? really good. But I think when Dave or I think when Dave and I did it last fall, it might not have risen all the way, but it turned out great at the end. Okay, hold on, thin, 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 so you, you put salt. Mm -hmm. huh? Did you get salt? Yes. You'll need salt. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it, and then you let that double, and then we'll bake it. So. Hopefully we can get it doubled before the show is over and baked. I don't know if that's going to work or not, actually. And, yeah. So, while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to open some packages. We got one from England. Woohoo! Woo! Hey there, going batty. <laughs> Whoa, I'm looking to see what kind of comments I might have missed. Okay, so we had some others. Okay, uh, comments. 
Well, Nancy was saying if the water was too hot, it kills yeast, but it probably wasn't that because it wasn't yeah. that hot. Yeah, you right? need to be careful that your water is only about 100 and 125, and how you, or I mean, 110 to 120. Don't go over 125. But um, if you stick your finger in the water and it's too hot for you to hold your finger in there, it's too hot. If you stick your finger in the water and it's really warm, but not too hot that you can't keep your feet, not so hot that you can't keep your finger in it, that's how you know for the finger test. Otherwise, you can use a thermometer and um, test it that way. Hey, Rachel so, says, saved 530 pounds already this month using my Dining on a Dime cookbook. Very <gasps> grateful. Woohoo! Well, thank you, Rachel. So I had a lady email me the other day and say, well, your book is 20 years old almost, you said. Are these tips really relevant today? <laughs> oh, man. I felt a video coming on. Here, Dave, a picture. A picture, Dave. Quickly. Wait, Here you go. Up. You ready? Hold up. Let me Here we go. This. Here you go. Hold up. Oh, snap. Wait, what's going on? Okay, you ready? <laughs> what is this? My mother's... <laughs> you know that's hard to hold yourself still like that. You need a okay. quick. You need. He needs to be flat, flashing it really quick so he can go like. Bam! <laughs> I can do that. So, so we got a ton of packages in yesterday's mail. We love mail, don't we? Okay, so we'll start at the top and work our way down. I guess. Okay. Okay. So Ooh. this might be Mom's birthday because Mom's birthday is on Saturday. <gasps> it's who? It's from Hannah Wonsley. <gasps> Do we know who that is? Yes. Ooh, yay. Okay, let's see. This I haven't one seen how is on today from Patty. I split the end open, but I didn't open it yet. So let's see. Hopefully I'm not cutting anything. No. Oh, wait. What Ooh, is this? It's Tara. <gasps> wait, who did it Tara come from? from Patty. And, oops, I dropped the paper. Uh, from Patty in Michigan. Okay, Yay. am I supposed to open this now, I wonder? Or is this a birthday present? Because my birthday's in July. Hmm. Well, I don't know. if you open it early, will, will your birthday expire? <laughs> well, it might since I'm not a valid person anymore. Found out today for, for the last, how old am I? I'm not going to tell that on the air. <laughs> For the last 40 some odd years, I haven't been a valid person. Are you okay? Oh, don't choke to death. Here. Give me a drink. Okay, get a drink. I found out today when we went to go get our passports, I have not been a valid person. <laughs> she, she has not been I didn't know that. as born. It appeared that you hadn't been born. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Can okay, you get a small spoon so I can quickly give Well, that's Dave's. Oh, hey, uh, on oh. today. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, I'm going to reshare the recipes, but if you missed them, you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes, and they are both right there. Well, I guess I should have opened the card first. Maybe I should have done that and then seen if this was a birthday present, because maybe it's a birthday present and I am opening it too early. Oh. <coughs> Yep, that was a Ooh, present. this has been in her family for years, she said. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my. Oh, that Ooh. looks cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you, Patty. It is an old, I love old cookbooks. What? 1913. Wow. Crisco cookbook. Wow. <gasps> oh, that is so cool. Oh that my is, goodness. She loves old cookbooks. I do. Oh, oh my goodness. We might have to test some of those. We might recipes. have to test some of these. We could they do a use flashback show <gasps> with like a sepia colored thumbnail. They used Crisco in cheese soup. What? Yes. Really? Crisco? Do you know what? Yes. Do you not know what Crisco is, Dave? I mean, I've heard of it. Yeah, I thought it was shortening. What else? Okay, what other weird things did they use Crisco in? Let's see. All the cakes and buns and muffins. 
chocolate jelly. Chocolate jelly? Two squares of chocolate, a tablespoon of Crisco, boiling water, oh, sugar, cornstarch, salt, vanilla, and walnut meats. You know what that's like? That is fudge, hot fudge. It's our hot fudge. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Cottage pudding. Oh my, English plum pudding. Oh, we should try that. I've always wondered what plum pudding tastes like. Breadcrumbs, flowers, brown sugars, Crisco salt, baking powder, spices. I wonder what a teaspoon of mixed spices was in 1913. Mixed spices? Yeah. I don't know what that would have been. A little bit of Ooh. garlic and nutmeg together. Raise. <laughs> what? See, I'm smart enough to know that those don't go together. Okay, Dave, thumbnail. Thumbnail, quickly. Here we go. I, I... <laughs> There you go, okay. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is about? Okay, you ready, Dave? One more, here we go, you ready? Right. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did, even? Did you explain what the thumbnails are about? Oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> Mom hates how she looks okay, in her other Okay, so the name. plum pudding is raisins, candied citrus, candied citron pe peel. Citrus peel. Citrus peel is basically what it is. Currants, ginger, brandy. Whoa. Whoa, that could make so me that's happy. That's high octane stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else did they use? Oh, uh, yay. Oh my goodness, they use Crisco for everything. This is kind of cool, actually. This is really cool. Oh my goodness, thank you so... Okay, and then she sent me the Watkins cookbook. Oh, look at this. Price, $1.50. 1938 Wow, that is expensive for $1.50. Oh my $1. goodness. $1.50 for what? Oh, what oh, does it say? Cookbook. To Grandma somebody from Florence, Dale. Grandma, I don't know, what would... Nusseldorf? Nusendorf? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, That's it looks crazy. like something like that. It looks like Nussdorf from Florence. Whoa. Huh. From Florence okay, let's Dahl. see what they have in the what my grandma used to sell Watkins. Oh man, we had that stuff all over the all over her house. She would give us all <gasps> kinds of stuff. Oh wow. Oh yeah, hey. does anybody remember Watkins? I can't believe they're still around. Look at the old bottles. Right there. We've had a few birthdays coming up, but we have a, another special birthday today. We have a too. special birthday on Saturday coming up. Oh, isn't that? Shh, 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 shh. Oh. Uh, no Actually, one. we have two birthdays we have to sell. Well, let's see. Saturday. No, Monday show. We can do the other one. But we yeah. had a couple of other people wow. on their birthdays, too. Oh, look at how they did these recipes. You ready? It doesn't look good. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Look at these recipes. That's pretty cool. Okay, so while so, I'm opening, thank you, Patty. I'm going to love looking through these. So Denise said, LOL, Tara, you can make some good facial expressions. <laughs> okay, that one was from Patty. Maybe we should do Darren's because he wants to go to bed, probably. Ooh, here's one from Margaret for Mom, and it says Happy Birthday. So I'm saving that for Mom. I'll Ooh. save that for Mom, Margaret. A lot of people loving on the old... Uh-oh. On the old. Uh-oh, it's cookbook. wrapped. Oh no. Okay. Here's for Jill. And this is for Tara. So I think Ooh, it smells good. I don't know, it smells really good. So <laughs> I'm gonna wait and save this one from Darren for mom when she comes next week. And I'll wait and save mine for my birthday. I don't want to save it for my birthday, but I will save it for my birthday. Did he save it? Thank you, Darren. Well, I don't know, I assume since it's wrapped. I was looking to see it. No. I okay, so we'll wait on those for our birthdays. No. Then, who did we get a package from? Hannah Wormsley. And who is that? Out of Goshen. Our friends out of Goshen. Yay. Okay, Hannah, what did you send me? Oh, uh, wait, she's not on. Wait, are they on? Two, living on a dime. I don't think they're on right now. You'll see okay. this later, or we'll tell you. Oh, look at the cute little popsicles, whatever that tape Wait, is did called. did you open the ones from Darren? I didn't, because oh, okay. it was for Mom's birthday, I think. I see. I didn't Thanks. Say, say anything about that, but... 
Uh, uh, thank we you. really miss you guys, and I hope that every time you see this painting, you think of. Uh, I think I think she meant us when we all had a blast at that beautiful, amazing place that your family loves. Can't wait to meet up with you guys again. Enjoy this gift, Hannah. Uh oh, I think she may have done something, and so I did it. Real, I gave. I asked. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> but I didn't mean for her to give. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Darren says he sprayed perfume on it as the tissue paper smelled like chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, well, it smells good. It smells really good. Okay, we'll open it. Let's see. Mom's going to be here. Uh, is she going to be here Friday show? Oh, we're not doing a Friday next week. I don't know when she'll be here. But when we I'll have her open now. it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> oh. oh. Wow, that really oh, looks like it. Oh, Hannah, thank oh, yeah, she you. I hope this isn't Facebook. the original. She posted so, it on Facebook. So I saw this on Facebook oh. and I was like, oh, Hannah, you need to send that to us. I was joking. I didn't mean for you to really but send it. But it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so tell her where this is. Tell everybody where this, this is. This is Bear Lake at the Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. And we, when Out of Goshen was here, <clears throat> the Worms Leaf. We, this is a lake that's frozen over. When we were there, it was frozen over. We took them up to... We did a show with them here, mm -hmm. but uh, we were out of town, then we came back, and they were still here, and we ended up taking them up to the Rocky Mountain National Park. Yep. We had an awesome time together. It was and we a took blast. them to one of our favorite spots where we like to take people. Um, where we're taking Bandana Grandma and Heidi yeah. next week. Yeah. Ah! Ah! So anyway, so this is a really great rendition of it. Wow, it looks, it looks good, so it? much better in real life than on pictures too, because you can see the green in it and stuff on the trees. I know it looks so. This picture, you mean, looks so much prettier. Yeah, yeah I know. I mean, it looked great when we saw it when she posted a picture of it oh, online. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Wow. Thank you very much. That is so nice is... of you. Okay, can you <laughs> carefully go set it on the table so it doesn't get ruined? Okay, so then we got this, and it says, Mike for Jill and Tara. Uh, oh, so Daddy's Life is asking how to send something to us. Uh, Living on a Dime, P.O. Box 193, Mead, Colorado, 80542. We I, love packages. And I'm sharing it in the comments, but also anyone that missed it or wants it, you can go to livingonadime.com in the show notes and the mailing address is there too. Mm -hmm. So thank yep. you. <laughs> okay, What's so this? I don't know. It's from Amazon, but it says Mike for Jill and Tara. Oh, for Jill and Tara. So you're not supposed to see it? I don't know. Uh oh. Might be for a birthday, my birthday. Okay, oh. let's see. Oh, I think I see my part. Oh. Let's see. There's Hope you have a gnome-filled birthday. Oh, it was early. Oops. I'm so, uh, Oklahoma friend. Oh. Uh. Let's see. <gasps> oh, don't tell her. That's a, that'll have to be a secret for her birthday. Or we could have your mom, like, mute her computer for a second. Oh, except... She won't. Huh. I wonder if they left something out. Oh, dear. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm we not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, too. Sorry. 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 Let's see, some, let's see, see some hearts on the screen here. <laughs> Sorry. 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 You better get. Sorry. Sorry. All right, Jack. Uh, okay, well, let's see. I'm not sure from the message if this is what's supposed to be in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting tons of laughs. <laughs> okay, now my eyes really twitching. Oh my, okay, our Oklahoma friend, you have no idea who this is, whoever you are, thank you. Look at what they sent me. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. So, nomies are my homies. <laughs> that is so cute. Nomies are my homies. I love it. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you. So it says something about chocolate here. So I don't know if there was supposed to be chocolate in the box or not. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. So 
If this was you, let me know what I'm supposed to do with that other little note there, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. These are so cute. Actually, those are really cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, dear, oh oh. Jen is asking, is there a fried rice recipe in the cookbook? There is, isn't there? It's a playback. Oh. Or is it there? Okay, fried rice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fried rice. Oh, uh, your mom said that Darren said you can open yours if you want, that it isn't a birthday present. Oh, it's not a birthday present? Fried rice, page 149 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Okay, Yay. so I'll go ahead and open mine. Give <laughs> <Maybe> a little <laughs> turkey. <laughs> oh, thanks for the heart attack that Karen says. <laughs> Oh, Darren. Oh, Darren. Oh, nice. Well, nope, 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 nope. He I'll went to Greece and look. This was addressed oh. to me. Is this from Greece? This is really oh, yeah. from Greece. It's got Greek writing on it, so obviously. So I don't know if you know this, Darren, but my, so mom's grandpa, so my mom's mom's dad is from Greece and he immigrated to the US from Greece. So I am one something or another Greece. What does that make me? One eight? Wait, who's who's Grandpa Andy? Grandma's dad. Make me one is that, that one eight? Am I one eighth Greek? No, nope. yeah, I think so. Oh, cool. Thank you, Darren. Look at how pretty. Oh my. I'll have to do that on the show next time. Thank you. So let's Thank see. You. Heather's asking, what brand is that chocolate? It says it's the Tara brand. No, but she just wants to know, not to steal um, yours. I don't know. It says Lacta on it. Lacta triple. And then it has a bunch of Greek writing. <laughs> it's all so Greek. So it must. Be. It's, it's all Greek. I'm sorry. Yeah. What a terrible, terrible oh, joke. Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> okay. So let's. Should we try real chocolate from Greece? We've never had any food from Greece, have we? Except for maybe olives or something. Okay, here we go. What you you want to try that one? Can I try one? Okay. Let's see. Mmm, that's totally different. Wait, there's caramel in it. It's really mm -hmm. fluffy. Oh, wow. Wow. You know, mm. the Europe is Greece. Greece is European, Whoa. right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm getting so confused with all Isn't these. It? countries that are being unions now and not union i'm sorry oh my goodness i need to restudy the new geography <laughs> but greece yeah. isn't a part of the european it's union horrible. are they Mom. well they were but they had a lot of financial problems and i'm not sure if they still are hmm. they mm. were wanting to that buy. is good mom thank you mm -mm -mm. first of all mm. The chocolate tastes a lot better. And second of all, their caramel also tastes, tastes a lot better. Their chocolate and their caramel taste better. Everything so, they have. Better. Got some comments. Silver Shard says, Silver Shard says, way to go, Jack. Colleen T says, you don't look so sorry, Jack. And then Noah's Ark 1962 said, 10 years off your mom's life, Jack. Dang. <laughs> Lots of people loving. I'm glad they're loving it. And then somebody was saying, I forgot who it was that said. Um, Rosalie said that would have been a good pick. Well, sadly it won't be as high resolution, but we can grab a screenshot later on. <laughs> so. <sighs> Alright, you guys remember my soap? I'm going to cut just a couple of bars for you because I'm going to do the rest for my ASMR video. But I cut a couple of bars that day <coughs> because it's easier to cut when it's fresh. <laughs> Oh, see. <laughs> oh. Um, who said it? Uh, I mean, we have we have some. Somebody said Jack here. is really Anita loved. If I'll give him caramel chocolate after doing that. <laughs> yes, Anita said this should be a course for high schoolers. Um. Oh, is I going to tell you? Oh, we didn't talk about the hailstorm or the. No, the I'm going to. Okay. Just a second. Okay, so I'm cutting. Love. 
watching you make this soap. Oh, hey, Dave, can you tell me? This down? one I'm cutting by Just hand because possible. melt and pour will break your soap cutter. Oh, what do you guys think about that one? Woohoo! I think that's Confetti. one of the Tara's top, one of Tara's best, I have to say. Oh, man. There. Oh, I like the green on that one. This one has a lot of different colors. I love that one. <coughs> okay. Uh, Freddie was asking if we would show the wrapper to this. Yes. This is the candy from Greece. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> super, super delicious. Oh, look at that yeah, with the white. Oh. oh, look at doesn't that look cool? Oh, that looks amazing. Wait, what? I, I oh. With the gems. Nice. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'll cut one more. And then I'll be oops. Okay, Jonathan. All right, so this got a little off here. Let me kind of straighten this bar up. Well, or not. Okay, so let's cut this one. And to cut with a knife, you just look straight down from overhead. Ooh la la, look at that. <whistles> Did mom do a good job or what? Now, if you guys want to see what soap color bleeding looks like, this is it here. <clears throat> you didn't even see that. I made these embeds before I tested to see if the soap color would bleed, and it Can did. Can you hold it closer to the camera? <clears throat> but this one, I don't really care if it bleeds. Yeah. It just adds to the effect. Okay, so the rest I'm going to cut for my ASMR video, but then we're going to talk about our hailstorm we had yesterday. So Jamie was wondering if the gnome had chocolate in it. Wait, that um, was yesterday? I thought that was the day before. Maybe the gnome has chocolate in it. Is that the gnome? <coughs> maybe the no. gnome has chocolate in it. Oh. I don't think that our dinner is going to be done, guys. But is the oven turned on? No? No, because it's rising. Oh, you're rising it. I see. Sorry. <coughs> we just... Okay, Dave, thumbnail. Thumbnail, quickly, Dave, quickly. Here we go. Why? I Here don't we go. want to do I never signed up Here we go. This. Would you stop backseat cooking? <laughs> Dad, we need to place your finger with a gun. <laughs> okay, Janine's so, asking, could you use dental floss to cut? No, be really this hard, would break it? the dental floss. You have to basically just use a knife or cut it within... So, like, I cut this directly as, as soon as the show was done. It had set up enough that I cut it as soon as the show was over for my YouTube video. Um, but I just wanted to cut a couple for you guys. And then I'm going to cut the rest for my ASMR video. Um, okay, so, first of all. Well, looks like a kaleidoscope, Tara. So lovely. Thank you. And, Will and uh, Willow said it looks like a celebration party soap. It is. It is. Okay. Now, you guys can get my soaps on Etsy if you want. Oh, let me share that. And I'm super excited. I'm going to start a new soap Facebook group. It's not up yet, but a new soap Facebook group. And I think I already found somebody to help me moderate it. I'm so happy. Yeah, it was Dave. So they Over. won't be yelling at me. They can yell at her instead. Oh, no, no. Actually, I wouldn't she's wish it on me, but she's friend. tough. She's tough. And I told her. If after a month or two you can't take it, tell me. And she used to be but a she's teacher. Pretty, she used to be a teacher, so was, she's was tough. It maybe at a Catholic school. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking. I think it was a Catholic school, which is I, I which went is to worse. Catholic school, so I don't know. So which is think... worse. Um, there was a no nonsense. Well, thank policy you, there. Carrie, for loving my soap channel. Uh, yeah, this was tutti frutti flavored. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so a couple of things we need to explain. Thumbnails. We didn't explain what the thumbnails are. So go ahead and explain. Okay, Dave, get ready. Here, we'll do another thumbnail while Dad's explaining it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Ready? Right. So thumbnails are... Um... Here, here, we'll do this one. Are you not going to kiss me? Oh, me. I thought you wanted Jack. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Thumbnails are the pictures for the show. And we keep... <laughs> We yeah, keep making the pictures really for the show, the and, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put uh, like, well, I'll put a picture of Tara with whatever we're cooking or something like that, and she just kept saying, "Oh, I hate that picture. Oh, I hate that picture." And I said, "Well, if we shoot some more pictures, I'll have plenty to work with." So Dave did some with her before the show, and they were great. The one from today's thumbnail, if if you look at it on YouTube side, it involved um, Dad tickling. It looked mom. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what a thumbnail, don't you think about it. 
So Carol's asking, will the wires on the cutter slice through all that stuff? Yes, because it's all soap. It's all soap, but it, you can't really use a wire soap cutter because it will break if you don't do it just as soon. Like, you can use a soap cutter like if you do it right away as soon as it's set up. But if you wait like this has been 48 hours, it's too hard now for the soap cutter and it will break the wire. So you have to just use this hunkin thing. So, yeah. Um, who was it that was asking me? Oh, Rock's Corner has, keep, uh, has asked a couple times about camera work and production. Um, I can't private message through YouTube, but you can email us at editor at livingonadime.com. Yep. And I'll be happy to answer. Yep. Okay. So we have to tell you guys what happened what? yesterday. Oh, give your we look, do your shock look. Dave, thumbnail, thumbnail, quick, Dave, quick. Here we go. You ready? Why? One, two, you, two, come on. Hurry. I the most we gotta go. Inappropriate times. Go. One, two, three. There, that very was good. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we made the. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are are the pictures on the computer? Future thumbnail. Uh, the ones of the hail yeah. storm? Yeah. yeah we wait, made up. the weather channel. We made the weather channel yesterday. So, mom called and she said, another hail storm is on the way. Did you guys see my hail storm when we were in the middle of it? Okay, you ready? And um, you we, did, ready? we shot that on Facebook. We haven't put it on YouTube yet. Go ahead, Dave. Show them what Mike okay. had at... The library. And for those of you who know Jamie, she lives really close to yeah. there too. So she I think that was her neighborhood. She got almost the same thing. Oh, so I bet that was her I think it was her neighborhood. This okay. is the big picture. You can see the funnel cloud. It's gigantic. Well, it looks like a funnel cloud. So Mike put this on Facebook and said, um, should I be worried? <laughs> yes. Well, I thought this kind of looks like pretty nasty weather and all of us are just sitting here at the library not worrying about anything and i thought i better go look out the window and this is what i saw okay picture. so then how long was it before the next picture oh the next picture was like two minutes later okay so go ahead oh so the next ahead. two pictures were like two minutes later it went from that to okay go ahead probably he may have already well i went to the next one and right, you can one? see all the furniture is all hailed on and everything so outside. the next picture is you know you can see where it's just kind of white in the background that it went to that right away and it suddenly got really cold <laughs> okay, next one, Dave. so then the, the next one after that is a little more taking a second okay and here's outside the carbon valley you know library oh, wait and, oh oh, oh, you, oh you already showed the other one. one okay so this is outside the library yeah I said so this that. is right after sorry i didn't realize you showed the other one on there already yeah this is outside the library and i was just trying to get a sense of what it's like to have it was like three inches of, of hail in June. Next one, Dave. And here's Dad's feet in like two inches of snow, uh, of hail. Yeah, I was just shocked how much hail was there, so I had to get that that picture there. <laughs> what else? So the next then, one, Dave? do you have the There's last? No one. Oh, the Dave. road one's not on there. Shocked emojis. There no. should have been. Ah. Uh, well, there were more actually. Did I not import that? There's shocked no, emojis. There's only five. Well, so then, my friend Jamie lives across the street from kind of from over there and so she shared some pictures she just facebooked me and said that we can share so look at what was on her street that was in front of her house look at that isn't that crazy so then here is her son seeing how deep the water was look at Oops, except, except he I just see? accidentally got the oh i didn't can i see I here oh, okay, okay. Can I see? hold on can you see his head just barely, po like his head and shoulders? That's him right there. It's just like shoulders and head. Yeah. That, that water Crazy. dropped. How, how long was it? Like five, ten minutes? Yeah. All that water oh. dropped in like five well, to ten actually, minutes. The, the hail part was like 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, Dave has it? some pictures now of the hail. Okay. Too. Yeah, yeah, so this is it on the road. Yeah, this is it. This is one of the road pictures right after. Well, this was probably about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes afterwards. And I was just thinking... That was a lot. In fact, oh, so for those of you who you live come in over places so they can where you, see you, they can't see because of the pictures on there. For those of you oh. who live in places where there's, there's another one, where there's a lot of winter, I heard this sound that was very familiar. It was like, and I thought, is that what I think it is? And I looked over, and there was a snowplow. June nineteenth. June nineteenth. There was a snowplow. 
Look June here. 19th, a snowplow. So uh, I just thought, wow, a snowplow in June. Because <laughs> like it was probably mid to high 90s, what, last week? Yeah. And it's going to be 90s next week, of course, when all of our company comes. And after the hailstorm, it was probably 40s, I think. It yeah. got pr pretty cold. Yeah. So that was really something. It was crazy. So we found out today we went to go get our passports for our Ireland trip next summer. And we get up there and she says, we took what I thought was a valid birth certificate for me. Oh. It wasn't. Come to find out. Apparently mom's not born. After, <laughs> after 40, how old am I? This is 19... <coughs> What? No, this isn't even 19 something, is it? It's 20 something. 20, what are we, 2018? Yeah. How old am I? 46? I'm not telling. I don't know. However many years you old I am. You will be 46. You're not there yet. I will be 46? Someday. Okay. In the distant future. <laughs> Next, Next month. <laughs> um, I thought I was a valid person and I wasn't. I did not have a valid birth certificate, apparently. So you weren't a valid person. <laughs> so we couldn't get my passport. I had to go clear to the other town where all this hail stuff happened. Where we had to go to all this... Um, well, I had to drive clear to the other town where we had all of the hail stuff happen. Thankfully, it only took like five minutes because <clears throat> I was born in Colorado, so that's good. <laughs> I'm a native. And Lori, Mike's putting the, the recipe on there for you. I shared it, but if you don't find it, go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes, and it's definitely there, too. Yeah. So, um, I went and got my, got my birth certificate, so now I'm valid as a person. How do we even know we're married? Maybe we're not even legally married. You know, what if we take our marriage license in and they say, this isn't a valid marriage license. <laughs> what, this come from a gumball machine? Wow, what could I do with that? <laughs> Man. Well, I don't know. I'm kidding. Um, so, got that. So, we got our passports on their way, getting started. And um, so, we're super excited. Super, super excited. Okay. Oh. Nothing is rising very well today. Well, I have no idea what's going on, but. Well, and Jeannie asked how long until they're finished baking. Okay. We're not actually baking them right now, right? Well, I was trying to, but. For some reason, nothing is working. Okay, so you want it to be about doubled in size. And I'm tired of messing with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and bake it. But it she won't wasn't... be done before the show. So you bake it for about 20 minutes or so in the oven. And then it comes out all nice and brown and crispy it's and yummy. amazing. Well, and it's not that... Like right now, it just didn't rise beforehand when Tara made it, so she was trying to give it longer. So we yeah. haven't actually had the oven on yeah. in this amount of time. So I turn the oven on, let <clears> it get warm, and rise it, double it. But I don't know if my oven's not getting warm enough or what. But um, Patty, I loved the cookbooks. Thank you. I just saw your message on there. So LaDiana wants to know which day is your birthday. Um, my birthday is July 29th. So, so, yep. Um, oh, and Lisa's born in July, too. Go Leos. <laughs> so, um, just looked up your recipe. Looks very yummy. It is awesome. We love this one. It's like one of our family's most favorite ones. <gasps> oh, and Lisa's hubby is ordering a cookbook right now. Yay. Order it now. It's 25% off with free shipping. Oh, here, let me grab yep. the link for that. And, um... Don't forget, guys, we are having a meetup July 1st in Mead, Colorado from 10 to 2 a.m. If you're coming and you're close, if you're from out of town, don't worry about it. But if you're coming and you're close, then um, could, if you could mm -hmm. bring a potluck dish and we'll have drinks and Do your maybe... your favorite thing from dining on a time. <laughs> Watch the yeah, your Yeah, bring your favorite recipe from dining... 20 people bring cheeseburger yeah. rolls. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Bring your favorite recipe. No, let's bring something different. Um, and um, so if you're in Colorado or you're close, like Donna and Dan are coming. Woohoo! Ah! And Jamie is coming. Ah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, then please bring something to share for a potluck because 
not thinking I had it at noon and I thought, well, everybody's going to be hungry. <laughs> 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 so um, we're going to do it from 10 to noon. And yeah, or I mean from 10 to 2. On January 1st, next week, Bandana Grandma is coming out. Already. And then it seems like Heidi, so far away. I know. I got to be thinking of some meals here. I sort of thought, you know, maybe I should be buying some groceries and something so they don't know how we really live. Um, <laughs> got to clear out the TV dinners out of the fridge. <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be uh, like that movie we like with the lady who wrote the, uh, the articles in New York in like 1940s. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, that Connecticut. Christmas in Connecticut. Christmas in Connecticut. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I am excited because today I got someone oh. who I think is going to be able to help me. Did you say 2 a.m.? Uh, no. It's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, Donna is going to be helping me with my new soap group. So we're going to be able to get a picture with all the living on a dime crew. <gasps> Whoa, so people will all know together. who everybody is. Yes. So everybody will be coming out of Three, secret. Four states. We have people working for living on a dime in four states. What? Yes. Oh, Heather and somebody else earlier asked too if we will be live at the meetup. Oh. Don't know. We haven't thought about it. I hadn't thought that far ahead yet. I don't know. Can we get reception there? About 1.45, Tara will say... Mike, can we go live? <laughs> maybe I'll go test it sometime before that day. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get reception probably. Well, maybe we should test it like Friday or something and see if we can get reception. <laughs> Jeannie says she, they think that their granddaughter needs a shirt like Jack's, the one that says I'm definitely up to something. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, uh, will we be recording the meetup? Uh, probably not the I whole thing, know. but we probably will record maybe. some things from it. Yeah, we might so, be able to do something yeah. from it. So, anyway, so super excited about that. So we'll get to have a whole Living on a Dime team picture. Why? Though? With Gina, who helps with the soap, and Heidi, who helps with the Facebook. But and now wanna... Donna, who's going to help with soap Facebook. Yay. I don't want to be in the picture. And then we're going to have Dave, our shipping department. And nervous. we're going to have Jack... What did we call him? Mr. Cute Stuff to bring, mascot to bring in the people, huh? Yep. <laughs> hey, Rock's Corner. Uh, did I, I might have missed it. Um, oh, I shared the email uh, in the comments, but if you can't find it, you can go to livingonadime.com and just click on contact and mm -hmm. send me a message through there. That'll be easy. Yeah. Uh, or you can go to send it to editor at livingonadime.com. Yeah. That'll be Tara, but she sends me stuff. Yeah. I forward editor at livingonadime.com is our business email. Everything goes through there. Oh, Aaron says, I feel like you remember seeing a video title of Mike's, oh, she says conversation story, but it was conversion, conversion story. It was, yeah, it was actually, now that I think about it, that could have more than one meaning. But at the time, it was uh, about my conversion from spending too much to not, not spending much. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and is it not? I wonder if you can... Um, Man, they have good food in Greece. I think if you just type in Mike, it'll probably show up. Uh, did we change it to... No, she was talking about the YouTube video we did. We did a Mike's conversion story on the... I think so. Well, maybe not. Maybe it was the website. I was wondering if it's this one. Yeah. I think we changed the name of it. Uh, hmm. Spending confessions. How I got smart. Yeah. It's called Spending Confessions now. What were we thinking when we did that? How I got smart oh. about money. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's still on the website. It says Spending Confessions. Uh, but if you just type in, I think if you type in, I typed in Conversion Story, but I bet if you type in Mike, it'll probably come up too uh, on our website. Why don't you just give them the link right now? Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? <laughs> I was like, oh, we've got all this other stuff. Okay. <laughs> We didn't show the pictures from the uh, hiking. Oh, okay. So then... Hold on, I'm going to get the conversion story thing on, on there. On Saturday, Dave and Mike went hiking, and we were going to show you those pictures real quick. Go ahead and put them up, Dave. And um, we put... Mike did an impromptu video 
They were able to get the reception from on top of the mountain. First pick. I'm sharing that link, by the way, for the... I called it Mike's spending conversion story because I have another conversion story, but... So... <laughs> the, which I will, I'm sure, share again sometime. This picture is about halfway up the mountain. You can see a bunch of the different mountains behind us. It's Shapin, Chiquita, and Ypsilon. Is that the one with you? Yeah, on the right. Nice. I look so annoyed. I'm like, ugh. Oh. Wait, let me see it. Sorry, I'm just looks... looking at Rock's Corner to see if the message got in. Uh, I can't see it yet. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Oh uh, yeah, I look, I look annoyed. <laughs> you don't look annoyed. You look awesome, dude. So you were how high up? 10, Whoa, 12, we're getting, 000 feet? all the girls are sending messages through now. No. Uh, just don't. Ten thousand was the summit. This was probably about nine. Yes, and from a higher up angle, you can see Chape and Chiquita Ypsilon and my face to the left. Well, not my face, but my head. Yeah, those mountains, those three mountains in the back, Dave and I were planning to try to hike later on this season. It the starts on this picture, it's all the way to the left, to like the second to the right. It's Chape and Chiquita and Ypsilon. If I could point on the screen, I would show you. <laughs> we are going to try to hike those this season. Here's Dev with Chape and Chiquita and Ypsilon to the left of him. Oh it's, yeah, it was yeah. so beautiful that day. I was just, we were amazed because the forecast was for really strong thunderstorms. And we were like, I think we can get there ahead of the thunderstorms. So. And we did. Um, here's both of us. It's a picture of both of us with the giant mountains behind us. A great picture. This was at the peak, I think. Wait, let me see. It looks like we're at the very, like, edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right at yeah. the summit. How long did it take you guys to get up there? Two hours, which actually was pretty fast, I'd say. It was fast for compared to last and time. This hike, we, we, is, we would probably call it a moderate hike. Uh, online, some people call it easy, but... How'd you guys get that picture with both of you? Was there was there, a lady, a lady there. There. Oh. This was after everyone said, flee, flee for your lives. <laughs> this a... one other lady was up there, she's like, can I take a picture of you? Sure. Here's another picture. Um, it's it's me, off in the distance. I don't know if you can see, but he's standing right on the top of a little rock, on this outcropping thing. The rest, the that drops like a lot of feet down. <laughs> it, it's it's a lot. Here's back to mom and dad. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, he does a hiking pick. Oh. So those were some of the things that. Um, so it was kind of a. Father's Day, you, Dave's birthday, Dad show and the, Dave just want to do it kind of like. <laughs> let me show the six, uh, sixth picture. Oh, there's, oh, is the sixth one the... Uh, it's the mark, the marking. Let me know when it's on. Okay, this is it. So if you've never been on the top of a mountain before, most of the mountains, at least here, have a, a marker like this on the top that was put there by the U.S. Geological Survey. And it, uh, it just, usually it tells you uh, how high the mountain is, but... I always like to take a picture of one for every hike just so we can say, look, we made it to the top. Although the funny thing, this one doesn't actually have the elevation. And I remember that the last time we went up this mountain. Well, it says above sea level. Usually above that, it has the actual number. But it was 10,013 feet above sea level. It says feet. What's quantum feet? It says datum. Oh, datum. What is datum? Is, you it's, send it back? It's Latin. Yeah, you can send it back. Okay, here's us again. Well, I figured that, but what does it mean? It means date. Oh. <laughs> So I think if I if I, I thought it, it was date. Thank you, Jack. Datum does mean yeah. Firming that from his <laughs> hey, Kiri! glass. Yes, I actually learned that in my last. This is at another state. <laughs> um, the date and the time. July first is the meetup at 10 a.m. to 2 a, to 2 p.m. No, it's not. Mead, Colorado, Founders Park. We have a link on our website. Go to show notes. Stop it. Go to show notes and. It is in the show notes for the meetup, and all the instructions are there. And if you missed any of the links in this show or any of the contact information, all that's Head in the show notes. Head over to our website and click Yeah, so we have less than a week, or wait, is she coming on Thursday? I'm so confused on what day. Go look on the calendar and see what day the oh. is on the calendar. Tell me like what day that is. Had some that's Tuesday, isn't it? Three, four... I think she's coming in less than a week. Tuesday. Tuesday. We only have That's Tuesday. five yeah. more days left before what? Midnight and Marble comes. Ah, yay. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, I don't I don't have it here at the moment. but um, Oh, yeah. Is somebody was saying thanks for taking us to the mountains. If you actually, 
our, a couple days ago we had a, how do you do my, is your, um, we had, we did a live stream from the top of that mountain, I forgot to mention, so if you didn't see it, we did a live stream from there, and <clears throat> it's on uh, YouTube over here a couple days back, so I may try to share that link. Just if I, ignore what? me, you, Luke, just go here. Just ignore me losing the checkbook during the whole thing. <laughs> so. Uh, I lost the checkbook and I had to pay my assistant, Gina. Well, that contact is only on the Facebook version. Oh. <laughs> that what? That's only on the Facebook version. I didn't upload that to the YouTube side. The comment, oh. I can't upload the Facebook content comments. Oh, you can? I, are you able to get all the comments on Facebook? And oh, put comments. On YouTube? Oh, no, not comments. But I mean, in the in when you were talking about it, you didn't edit that out, did you? Oh, did you? Oh, I guess it was still in there. Yeah, you're right. It was. Okay, never mind, guys. So, <laughs> um, so I will share that here. I'll share the link to that video. Uh, we had a couple birthdays, too. Oh, and we have a very important birthday on Saturday that we have to sing to first. Okay, so come over, Dave. Come on. You got to do this one. It's not my birthday. I know. Get over here. It's her. an important birthday. Okay. Well, they're all important birthdays, but, I don't like but this being is a, a particularly yes. important to you, right? Okay, so. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> Wait, just for the one. It's mom's one? birthday on Saturday, Can I say so Joe we're gonna Cooper see. Or Nan? No. Uh, okay, you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nan. Happy birthday to you. Mom's birthday is on Saturday. Yes. All right. Wow, lots of people okay. loving the pictures there. How many? How yeah. many more birthdays do we have? Jack, careful. Don't. <laughs> we have. Yeah, I could set my hair on fire with this thing yes, pretty easy. I'm so, careful. Okay. Coffee time didn't say <laughs> what what their name was. Um, coffee time and Bria and Tina and. Ramona's grandson, and I don't know his name. Okay. You ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Coffee Time, Bria, and uh, Tina, uh, Tina, and Ramona's grandson. Happy birthday to you. Whoa. Um, I didn't even blow it. <laughs> All right. guys well thank you for watching us i don't think nope i didn't get them done i'm sorry if we missed your comments sorry we actually kept track of a bunch of them but we're the but last two days if been... it could go wrong it has go wrong gone wrong so i'm really sorry go to livingiodime.com type in cheeseburger rolls and you'll see what the end results look like delicious and somebody did ask <laughs> have you made them before they thought you made them before as individual cheeseburger rolls yeah you can make so, them an individual. I don't waste. I don't have that much time on that, so I just do it. So anyway. And if you're, uh, if you haven't seen our friends going batty, or if you like them and you want to go see them, they're on. I, well, I should check to make sure they're actually on. But I'm going to share the link because I'm pretty sure they're on tonight. Uh, and you can go check them out next on YouTube if you like. Wow. They're kind of they're a fun family. All right, visit us at livingonadime.com. Bye. Bye.